Today, I've got a look at the most impressive, consistent character, face swapping, face training AI video model I have seen to date. On top of it, it's pretty easy. Slight asterisk there, we're gonna go over that in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, there's no like complicated face swapping required here or extra kit bashing. Yeah, we've come so far in AI video that I have finally attained my dream of becoming the man in the blue business suit. Okay, let's dive in. So this new character model feature is from Kling. And just as a quick FYI, uh, I got early beta access to this. So depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be available, but I don't think it'll be very long. Now, if you are early into watching this, that may actually be a good thing because we're gonna go over some information here that will really help you hit the ground running. Overall though, it is really impressive. Here's a couple of examples. Here's me living out my fantasy of being a hard boiled noir detective. Here is beefcake me. I just want you to know that uh, AI me totally skips leg day. This dude is a total triangle. Here is intergalactic space hero me and Marvel. I know you got Robert Downey Jr. back. I'm just saying if it doesn't work out, I am available. Available. And finally, something kind of maybe a little more in line with me. Here's Rockstar Tim playing out on the Ego platform at a concert. Really good guitar face here. Every guitar player makes guitar faces, and that is a pretty solid guitar face. Now, at this point, we have seen a few of these like character reference AI video models, notably uh, Vidu has one and Hotshot as well. Now, one of the questions that circles around in the comments a lot is like, why doesn't this look as good as like say deep fake Tom Cruise, which oddly it was way back in 2021. I I mean, that said, deep fake Tom Cruise still looks great. Uh, the reason for that is actually twofold. Well, first and most important is the fact that deep fake Tom Cruise is video to video and the performance is by an actor who happens to be a Tom Cruise impersonator. The second is that the software that they used at that time required up to 6,000 images of Tom Cruise to train on. And then additionally, it took about a month in order to ingest those images and to train on that data. Now, obviously we have come a long way since then and most face swapping tools that we've used, including like face fusion and live portrait uh, only require a one shot or just one image in order to create the swap, which does make it a lot easier to use. And in addition to that, you know, takes up less computational time and resource. Kling has kind of flipped the script here. So let's take a look at how you train your model. And I've got some recommendations for when you do. So the first thing you'll want to do when it is available is come down to my model here. So this was the model that I already trained just to walk you through this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit train a new model that will bring up the old agreement just very quickly. It's, I mean, it's fairly reasonable. It's, you know, don't infringe on other people's likenesses. Don't do bad stuff with this. So after you hit agree, you'll need to upload a frontal face video, 10 to 15 seconds long in 1080p. Uh, now I, I will admit, I, I actually kind of screwed it up a little bit uh, in that I'm moving my head around a pretty good amount here that didn't seem to have a, you know, a negative effect, but I will say that it seemed to handle the relatively busy background. Oh, I even talked there. Uh, it did seem to handle the relatively busy background fairly well, so you don't need a completely neutral background. That said, I would not put as much head movement as I did in this, although I did get away with it. Now this next part is where things get a little on the intense side because you now have to upload an additional 10 to 30 videos of yourself from different angles. Yeah, it's definitely kind of a lot. Now you probably can just get away with shooting this stuff on your phone. Uh, I actually grabbed my handy Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, I love this thing. If you're on the fence about getting the Osmo Pocket 3, get the Osmo Pocket 3. It's awesome. Now, two quick things to note. Uh, Kling does say, obviously, make sure that only one person is in your video. Otherwise, you know, you're going to end up essentially like kind of corrupting your training data. Additionally, they do say that you should shoot everything on the same day to avoid significant facial changes. Uh, I actually did not do this. I actually used a few clips from other videos that I had sitting around and it seemed to be fine. They do have a number of prompts here that they recommend, uh, like smiling, surprised, sad, jump up. I probably did not put enough of 
this in. So my model does come off a little bit on the angry side. And lastly, although not specifically stated, I would recommend using a tripod. Um, again, when I use the DJI Pocket 3, it does have a built-in gimbal. I swear I'm not sponsored by DJI or anything. I just really like the thing. So as you're uploading, there's this little progress bar that's up here that will let you know, uh, you know when you get to essentially enough. Now, I actually maxed this out at the full 30 videos, uh, but Tech Hala, who we're gonna take a look at some of his examples in a little bit, only did 20, which was probably enough. And he said that all of his generations worked fine. Uh, once you're somewhere in that enough to superb area, uh, you simply come down and hit the training button. That will cost you 999 credits for right now. Now, once you have submitted your model, it is still going to take a little bit for Kling to you know train up your model. In my case, it took about an hour and a half. Uh, Tech Hala mentioned that his took about 30 minutes. So I would schedule some where in that time frame uh, before you can actually start using your model. But once it is up and running, you simply come back to my model and then hit the generate button and you're pretty much off. That will bring you to what pretty much looks like, you know, standard cling. Um, yeah, this is my uh, test on kind of going with a uh, notebook inspired, uh, like the Ryan Gosling film, uh, romantic scene. Um, it's pretty funny. Um, but you'll have your face reference down here that you can choose from. Um, Grace is actually already included. She is the example that we saw earlier and then you'll have you know your character here as well um, and that just comes in as an at and then whatever your character name is you still have all of your standard cling things here your settings uh, for creativity to relevance you can only generate in professional mode with cling 1.5 uh, you can do so either five or ten seconds and then obviously you know three different aspect ratios and uh, the amount of generations that you want to choose so bouncing over to Tech Hala, who at this point I think is the only person that I'm aware of who has access to this feature. And, you know, frankly, I'm just tired of looking at my own face. This is what Tech Hala actually looks like. Funny enough, I think he's actually shooting this on a Pocket 2 or 3, given that we're actually getting face tracking here as well. So, yeah, again, pick up the Pocket 3. It's awesome. And he did end up with some pretty good stuff. Here he is in a remote cabin. Uh, definitely shows that he does not have Verizon because he has Signal. Quick little shot from Man versus Food. In my opinion, there is no wrong pizza, but there are wrong ways to eat pizza. Now, quick note on this shot, you'll see that there is a little bit of like character reference bleed in the background characters, like, you know, these three guys who, I, they might be Tech Hollow's brothers, I don't know. Uh, but clearly they, they kind of are very much picking up on his character reference face. That said, you can get two different characters into a shot, uh, as Tech Hall approves here, by prompting for a Yeti uh, and uh, ending up with this. This is actually a really great shot. I really love this. But as we can see, the Yeti is so far off that it's not taking any you know, facial characteristics or attributes from him. Well, maybe the beard. I don't know. But currently, if you prompt for kind of a generic character, what you're going to end up with is two versions of yourself as that character. Uh, like for example here, where I prompted for me to be talking to a Kung Fu master in an office hallway, drinking coffee together. And uh, I love my like kind of like Jim from the office-esque take here. Uh, but yeah, I ended up with me as both the Kung Fu master and me as the office worker. But that does not seem to occur when Kling identifies the opposite gender, such as in our uh, notebook example, or in this hilarious example of AI me cutting it up on the dance floor, surrounded by a bunch of beautiful women. Um, yeah, AI me has all the moves. He does do like a weird face kind of like expression right there. I don't know what he's doing. He's got like peanut butter or bubble gum stuck in his mouth. Uh, to note, yes, it is still text to video, so you're gonna get some weird things. For example, from time to time, it really wants to give me a mullet, which I'm not sure exactly what the deal there is. I have never been business up front and party in the back. But generally, I have found if I just give it a re-roll, the mullet does tend to disappear. Or maybe I should just negative prompt mullet. And of course, at like higher speed stuff, you still get your like standard like morph foo kind of stuff. Um, so I still think that there is a really cool like action sequence that you can do in this style, though. And look, while I know that text to video is not everyone's favorite methodology, uh, the fact is, is that you can get some pretty dynamic stuff out of it much more so than image to video. But as the old saying goes, this is the worst it will ever be. Now, given the fact that the file names come in as Kling Lore Train, uh, I do foresee a point 
at some point where we'll be able to upload references for things like settings and style and then you know our character reference and have everything baked together additionally cling does have their camera movement feature uh, that will be coming to v1.5 at some point uh, runway did just release theirs uh, i will take a look at that in an upcoming video in the meantime i will let you know when the cling custom character creator that took about three takes by the way uh, when that model does release in the meantime i thank you for watching my name is tim